Hi, thanks for staying tuned. Good to have you back on the show. You're watching Your Business, and I'm Cindy. It is this Monday morning. If you're just joining in, don't be surprised. Yes, I'm here because, of course, um, I missed you a bit of part of last week, so I just had to be here for you this week. Okay? Yeah, Lake is somewhere chilling. All right, well, don't worry. Maybe he will show up sometime this week, but let's see how it goes. Okay, let's see how we go. So this morning, I'll be speaking with Financial Paul. Who doesn't know Financial Paul? If you're an avid watcher of the show, Your Business. But for the benefit of those who do not know him for one reason or the other, I'm going to first introduce him, read out his um, profile a little bit so that you understand the kind of person that we're going to be speaking with this morning and the authority with which he's going to be speaking with this morning. Yeah, so Financial Paul is a renowned nation business um, you know, investment and financial intellectual analyst, all right, and a highly sought after finance business speaker and also an author. He's a founder of Become Rich Africa, yeah, an organization aimed at providing personal and corporate financial business and investment education and information in Africa. All right, Financial Paul is so passionate about eradicating poverty, and this has made him to develop more inter interest in business, both digital and offline business. Now, he has invested in businesses ranging from manufacturing to um, e-commerce, to importation, to blogging, to exportation, to several digital businesses, and also real estate. Yeah, that's where the money is. So talking about investment, talking about um, the, um, becoming a millionaire, talking about becoming a billionaire, talking about um, an investment guru, I present Financial Paul this morning. Thank Good morning. So Good, Good morning. to have you on the show. Yeah, thank you for having me. Definitely. It's always a pleasure to have you and have to yeah. listen to all your ideas yeah. about business yes i'm building my... i'm building a business thank you thank you know you, thank like you. i said in my opening i said you are you tell us where the money is and how to get to where the money is you know <laughs> and how to get the money when we get there exactly exactly <laughs> so it's not just pointing us the direction of where the money yes, is exactly. you also tell us how to get it you Definitely. know when we get there Definitely. which is very important Definitely. you know it's just like being in the midst of water and then you have Definitely. soap in your eyes yeah i mean that's you incredible. have to watch the you have soap to, exactly <laughs> So that's what we're, you know, okay. that's who you are. So this morning we're looking at businesses that will thrive in 2022, like he yeah. usually does. So he's going to be listing out some of these businesses and, of course, how you can key into it, all right? Yeah. The phone lines are going to be open. Get your questions coming in. If you're not so clear about any of the businesses that he's going to be highlighting or if you want to have more clarity or ask him any questions concerning any other business that he has talked about on the show, Prior to today, all right, you can get your calls in and also ask him your questions this morning. Or you just want to know how we're doing, all right? Yeah, a little cut, a little good will will also do this morning. So get your calls in, of course, and like I said, we are live on Facebook and YouTube, so you can go and join us in case you are on the go and not able to watch via your television set. Remember also that the Rave TV app is also there for you, so you can join in via that things as well. So, financial poll. Now, yes. what is um, the biggest mistake you okay. think anyone can make this year in terms of business? Yes. Um, one of the biggest mistakes you can make is not marketing yourself well. Hmm. Not marketing well because um, some people need your service. And you might be thinking, oh, I have some number of people who know what I offer. But if you can present yourself to much more people, you will really make a lot of impact and also make more money. So in 2020, you want to stick towards marketing yourself. 2022. Well. 2022, right? <laughs> sorry. You want to stick towards marketing yourself very well, hmm. pushing yourself to the public. Let people know you. There are a number of marketers online that when you open your YouTube or Facebook, you see them. And those people, they are really cashing out a lot. There are people who market themselves. They spend nothing less than 300000 on a daily basis. Just on the what, what, what just do you mean? marketing themselves. themselves, their product, their service, mm. because that is the soul of their business. The more people get to know them, the more money they can make. And these kind of people, they have a turnover of let's say four million on a daily basis. So they, 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 they decide to build a brand in themselves. They build a brand. Um, they build a business around their personal brand. Mm. And in the area of um, consultants, which we are going to be talking about, if you are good in a particular um, space, I'm going to talk about different consulting um, um, wow. services that you can offer. So if you are good in a particular space, you can build your personal brand so well in that space that when they talk about, okay, sales consultant, they know you. 
Okay. And when you push yourself so much, so many companies begin to seek for you. I think, I feel, I believe, I'm so excited that I think okay. we should start already. Okay. So what are some of these businesses, yeah. you know, that will thrive this yes. year? Yes, I will first start by saying the consulting business. And this is to those who actually know what they are doing. You know, there are some people that they don't really know so much on consulting. Before you can be a consultant, you should have gotten quality knowledge via education or professional um, experts. Maybe you gain it from professional courses or experience. So there are different forms of consulting. You could consult via, let's say, you could be an IT consultant. Okay. You could be a sales consultant. You could be a marketing consultant. You could be a PR consultant. You could be a um, social media consultant. You could be a financial consultant. Why do consultancy sell now? A lot of companies are facing a lot of problems now. Even individuals, they are facing those problems. Media houses, the banks, different companies. So they need these consultants. Okay, I want to, I want to come in now. Okay. Most times, a lot of people are consultants. Okay. Especially in Nigeria. But we hear people tell me consultants. Okay. I also, I also <laughs> consult. You understand? So we're not talking about the regular consultation that we see and that exactly. we hear of every day. Exactly. How can you make yourself indelible in the world of consultation? What makes you a bona fide consultant? What makes you you know, a unique, a branded, a profitable, a cashing out consultant. The major thing is your result. So if a company hires you for a particular service and you are able to meet the target of the company, even most of the company, they can give you a very large target. And to some reasonable extent, you are able to help the company get results. Mm. One of the ways that you will grow in that business is they will definitely need your service again and they can also refer you to their let's say, um, subsidiaries or to their friends. Most of these companies has a pool of, um, you know, most of these companies, the CEO, mm. they have pool of what, of networks. In fact, they can be on a WhatsApp group. I know one of my, uh, what is it called, mentor, is the founder of a real estate organization in this, uh, in, in Lukwedu GRE. He has so many complexes. He has a microfinance bank. Should I tell you, they have a group on WhatsApp, that mm. these business people, I'm, I'm talking about business in billions, mm. not um, 10 million, or they have network. And if you can give one of them or two of them results, you are in money. Because, because one, they, refer they you. will refer you. One mm. recommendation alone will give you a lot of money. So if you are looking at the area of financial consultancy and, and there are different companies who are facing quite some issues, I mean, financial consultancy can also be in line with strategic consultancy. Um, consulting, um, you can just, they could just call you up and say, okay, we want to reach out to 100 million or 500 million uh, um, sales targets. How do we get there? This is our product, this is our service. And based on your experience, based on your professional um, competence, and based on um, different things you have gathered all together, you're able to break down your business model and say, okay, let's put this, let's remove this, let's do this, let's apply this strategy. And uh, I was in a, a particular strategic meeting, um, let's say some months ago, and, mm. and we're seeing how this company can get to, let's say, trillion naira worth of um, transaction. Yeah. And we introduced, uh, what is it called? We introduced multi-level marketing into their business model. They deal in real estate. Uh, the company is in Lekki. And uh, I wouldn't say the in-house uh, in-depth yeah, strategy that sure. was put on ground. But when we outlined everything, it was, let's just kick start. So, and if you have a target of like one trillion or let's say one billion, uh, and you're able to reach out to let's say 500 million, 700 million, of course, you'll make your money as you are consulting yeah. for them also. And um, they'll be like, wow, this is a very, very good um, consultant. Most people yeah. that don't try is because they don't really... Um, get results. Some people just gather one or two Do things. It, they yes. just call and themselves they just it, yeah. You don't yeah. have experience. Just like I trained somebody on um, a particular business. I mm. told him you can also make money training, training, I mean, teaching people, but you can't teach what you don't know. You have to first practice this thing mm. and gain the experience before you start teaching people. So he that met me, he came back to me after two days, say, after let's say a week or two weeks and says, ah, this person that I thought to, he thinks I'm a scam or look at the errors the person made. I told him, don't ask me any question mm. <laughs> because I told you to learn this business before you, before you teach. Exactly. If this person comes to me, I've gotten experience in this business. What yeah. this person is even telling me, I've faced this, so I know how to advise yeah. him. 
you can't teach what you do. Definitely, don't know. definitely. And exactly. everybody is looking for people who can produce results. Things, exactly. You know, I remember I've had to, you know, um, even get services of someone like that, you know, in some exactly. areas. You know, sometimes exactly. you have the idea, but you're looking for you people to, to put it down yes. and, you know, yes. line it up for you so yes. that you start moving yes. with it. You understand? Yes. And there's yes. this guy, he's just amazing. He wow. just knows how to strategize. Just wow. give it to him. It Everything will be on paper the next few weeks. And you're wow. like, wow. You know, it's so clear <laughs> and there's a destination. So exactly. it's really good to deliver results. Because such people or such a person, I definitely will not joke with him because mm. I know that if I need results, I know how to, if I have an idea and I want a, you know, consultation on how to go about it, exactly. you know, I would not joke with him. I yes. definitely want to go with yes. him. Okay, what other businesses are they? Okay, um, we can look at, uh, you know, a lot of people, I don't know, some people are really skeptical about online businesses. And mm. um, the truth is that there are people that are really making a lot of money. What sort of online no, business? I'm going to talk, I'm going to go okay. deep. Uh -huh, please. Go, I, want, I know you want me to <laughs> go deep. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can even see those screen online business. Eh? Okay. Hey, so I, I, people are like, we've heard of online, online, online. online. Business is, you know, is there a business called online? I you mean, know, <laughs> what are those businesses in the online business? You know, one of the major things, like you asked me, what is the most important thing that someone needs to grow is finance or business? All these business thrive on quality marketing skills. And I'm going to mention one. A lot of people used to hear about this, and one of them is affiliate marketing. Yes. I have heard about it. Okay. Very good. Affiliate marketing is so beautiful that if you are ready to go into affiliate marketing, um, it's just all about um, I, have, I have a pool of products that people have created. I don't need to face the stress of creating those products. It could be, it could be um, um, courses. It could be business ideas that when people lay their hands on it, they get results. It could be that, okay, someone just created a, a course on how to start a successful real estate organization. Mm. And this course is top-notch. If you lay your hand on it with your capital and you study everything, you will definitely get results. Yeah. Now, those products are top-notch. So you might, you don't want to face the stress of creating those products. Even You might not even know how to create the product. Mm. But because you, you understand affiliate marketing, the product is cost, let's say, 100,000 Naira, and mm -hmm. you're able to sell it. You gain instant fifty thousand dollars. Like affiliate marketing deals on commission. Okay, it's like selling other people's products yes. or services. Service, selling other people's products online. Online, and it deals on commission. Some can okay. give you like seventy percent. If you want to kickstart the affiliate, sometimes some of these um, affiliate platforms they come with quality training on how to market, because you have to be good at marketing. So, do you know that on your WhatsApp, you know, we're always talking WhatsApp, whereas a lot of people are skeptical, like I said, mm. because they don't really, they are not seeing, they are not in the midst of people who are cashing it on the WhatsApp. Mm. If you are in the midst of this affiliate marketing, you'll be tempted, because you'll just be seeing credit alert every now and then. So, they will come with marketing um, mm. skills that you will learn. Most of the important marketing skills that they will give you is how to monetize your WhatsApp. And one of the ways you can monetize is your WhatsApp status. Some of these people on their WhatsApp status, they have like about 2,000 views per upload. And over time, they build their marketing strategy on their WhatsApp. Just the, the major thing, let me just bring them to your WhatsApp. You, you, you finish the transaction on WhatsApp. I finished quite a number of transactions during December period on WhatsApp, to the tune of millions. So if your phone is not making money for you, then that phone is smarter. Because if you are smarter, you should, <laughs> should turn the it? phone as, an, as, as, mm. as, a, as a tool to make money. People, you know, most people on WhatsApp, they just say, hey, on Sunday, hey, Sunday things, people, their followers say, oh, I'm in Radisson, Radisson. But that same energy you use to put Sunday things, you can use it to upload <laughs> quality something that will give you money back. Wow. So the idea, the, the thing is, how do I make money? How do I make money? What can I, you know, yes. use this thing? So in affiliate marketing now, yes. I'm selling other people's products yes, and services product and on my own platform. You know, exposing it to my own viewers, to yes. my own audience, yes. Yes. all right, to my yes. own followers, yes. Yes. and cashing out cashing out, out of this. And one of the beautiful things with affiliate marketing is that it comes with the skills. And um, some months ago, I was like, no, I'm going, even though I know all these skills, I just asked myself, when last did I even pay money? You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people used to think that, oh, I know all these things. Yeah. I don't need to pay money. But the, you might pay money for a particular skill that you know. 
just maybe the video or the training is like um, a 10 page course mm -hmm. and the only thing that was new to you was just two page and it can really increase your your turnover you might think you know it but if you lay your hand on a training in that aspect you discover that you, you've just gotten a you new just idea gotten, yeah everything just adds just, up yes just adds up to your knowledge yeah so i was like come on we are going to go for this and guess what by the time you open to that affiliate marketing, you have a lot of resources. By the time you even see the resources, you'll be, you'll be afraid. Like, ah, when will I consume are all these resources? Are you serious? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Get your calls coming in exactly. already. Ask him your questions. It's time to make money. It's the money-making time here yeah? on your business, on this part of the show. You know, whenever financial poll, you know, hits your screen, it's not um, a time to take for granted, okay? You have questions. You want to get into that business. You know, you don't know how to start. You know, whatever it is that you want to ask him, get your calls coming in this question. You just look and you just have it on your head. We don't know. I don't know what is in your head. I always tell you, I don't know what you have in your head. So the phone lines are open. Get your calls in. Or you can even send us a comment. Send your questions on our social media handles. as of course, Rave TV. Um, at your business, rather. So we are going to definitely take them as we see them, okay? But of course, do not keep silence. Do not keep silence in misery. So apart from affiliate marketing, apart from... Um, the consulting thing. What other mm -hmm. businesses are now, there? Um, you can look at um, what is it called? Becoming an influencer. And there are a number mm. of people that um, in 2022 and 2021, a number of people are now coming online as an influencer. What does it take to be an influencer? Very simple. Thank media. you so much. You always ask a direct question. <laughs> <laughs> and you are so concerned about your yes. audience. That's why you're asking a direct question. Very simple. It's, you don't really need to really be an expert. To be an influencer just be knowledgeable in a particular space let's say it could be like 50 percent or 60 percent knowledge in that space whereas there are people who are just 10 percent knowledgeable you are their teacher and mm. as you begin to teach people in that space you 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 grow in the knowledge so you can be an influencer in the space of um let's say um elderly living eating well just like you are in the space of the finance mm. so what you want to do now and, and for me also, you want finance to expand. Finance and fashion. Yes. Oh, finance and fashion. No wonder. <laughs> They're looking really good this morning. <laughs> yeah. And there are people who are also uh, influencers in the area of fashion. And do you know what? They're really making a lot of money. Money follows attention. Just grow your online attention. Money Look at all these kids makers. In fact, um, I sometimes, if somebody, so, you know, there's this guy that traveled, you know, this James Brown guy. Okay. <laughs> I went to London, you know, and all his likes. You understand? Like, oh, this guy, you know, I sometimes I just like to go through the comments when I okay. see them, like, go and do this one, go and do that one. But the guy is busy cashing out. I'm not exactly. saying what he's doing is good or bad. I mean, yeah. it could be his own business strategy. I don't know. Okay, that's his style. Or, okay. But he's cashing out. Exactly. He has gained the attention. Exactly. He has gained and money is and money is because people want to put their money where the attention is. Yes. That gives them yes. viewership. Yes. And the, the beautiful thing about becoming an influencer is that it can take like a year to grow that influence. Meaning, what do we mean by influence? Attention. So many people know you. Once you have quite a number of followers, you see people that have 30,000 followers, 10,000, even 3,000 followers. Now money, you that follower. Mm. So even if it's on YouTube and you see 5,000 followers or 3,000 followers or 2,000 followers, now money. In fact, um, I, because I'm in this space, yeah. I have one of uh, my friends that came to me and said, ah, I'm gonna just push one, just like this athlete I'm telling mm -hmm. you, 14 million and half product. And it's getting 20% mm. on that. Wow. So 10% of 14 million is 1.4 million. 20% oh. is 2.8 million. You're always talking millions and billions. Ah, in a million now. We are not ready no, for not thousands. Ready for thousands. <laughs> thousands <again. laughs> I'm not ready for thousands. Yeah. This year is million. In fact, I had to check my bank statement early this year. I was like, let me even know how much came in in, a, in a, one of my business accounts. Mm. And I was like, really? So that made me to hold, to shoot out. I'm not ready for thousands again. As in, it's it million is. in eight figures now. You know? So, <laughs> and it was like, okay, I just sold this product for someone. It's just 14 million. And I was like, wow, congratulations. And he made um, an athlete um, commission of like 2.8 million. Mm. Because guess what? His audience is just 2,000. 2,000 followers. So how was he able to do it? How was he able to know those who were interested or gain their interest? Create content in your niche. 
if you have in interest in healthy living mm. or good dressing well fashion finance uh, marketing social media importation as well any simple niche you know just begin to create content content drives attention and once the attention comes, they see that the content you are pitching is quality people follow quality content mm. just the way we finish this i will upload it on financial for youtube channel and youtube will push the content and guess what the content will reach out to quality people and because these quality people still need more financial knowledge and they will follow me get my number and start talking oh financial power i want to set up a business that can be making me 10 million on a monthly basis and then what you, you, you come in and mm. that is when you make money from this service sometimes wow. they don't even need to come to you yesterday i even created financial another business to pay how much have you made from this uh, show i've not made any money <laughs> <laughs> I've not made any money, of course. In fact, we need to devise a system. I've not made you any know? money. Uh. I've not made any money. But the truth, one of the beautiful things about you is going to make you um, get to know more people. Yeah, sure. Yes. Sure, and when you sure. know more people, money will definitely flow. Definitely. So, okay, so I'm just eager for okay. the other businesses, you know, because okay. of the time that we have. Okay. That. okay. So um, moving away from the influencer space, you know, we are talking about this briefly. You also want to do what can also go to financial for channel and get in depth information sure. on this Definitely. now you can always look at the e-commerce business um there are several businesses what's the difference between e-commerce and online what okay now online business is general under online business you can have affiliate marketing you can have e-commerce business you okay. can have influential business. online business is every business that can be done on the online space yeah so when i talk about e-commerce business is a part of online business like selling a particular physical product mm. on a particular platform or on a website take for instance these clothes that you're wearing i mm. think i saw your status and you were like okay the fashion designer can make it for you at an affordable price and this item can be sold on an e-commerce space and the person doesn't really need to understand digital marketing when you create partnership with top e-commerce company just place it on their product they will market it for you and you just sit down the comfort of your home all you just need to do is that once they place the order you just drop it in their office and you make your money um during december period i put my store on hold because i needed to do quality um, stock and mm. counting i needed to know the money that has gone out in form of goods let's know the one coming in let's just have an overview in january so I intended, I put the store on hold for one month, from 1st of January to last week in January. And I forgot. But on the 1st of uh, February, I just discovered that ah, I got an email. You have another. You have on every day. I kept having another. And within the space of one, we could have sold more, a pr product worth, let's say, 100,000 plus. Mm. Maybe 150 or 100. In just the first week, the order, the, the stock turned on, turns on. So you might, so many people are losing money because they don't really have knowledge in that space. Yeah. If you have knowledge in that space, you definitely make money. So e-commerce business, you can set up partnership with e-commerce company. Hmm. And I started with 3,500. And before you know it, I started marketing people's products. And I gave my own capital and I started selling. Yeah. So you can look at um, e-commerce business, look at this website, just get products that um, even if you don't have the money you can reach out to people who are already selling it those people wants to sell I know. get their product upload it and um, um, start selling, start for, selling them. for them mm. and you discover that you just upload it on their platform there's someone i trained and he was i told him sir be ready for order so he said don't worry financial poor i'm ready and and so we want to be ready for orders we so want, to be, want ready. to be ready for orders <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, I mean uh, you know, I mean, get, get, get your calls in if you want to be ready for orders. I like that. Exactly. You are ready. You know, some status, <laughs> some inscription you hear, we are, we are ready to receive. You know, we are yeah. not immune to orders. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and all that. Wow, that's, that's so interesting. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, what other um, businesses are there? I think we just have roughly four minutes yes. or thereabouts here yes. to sign up. Okay, you can look at, you can look out for like importing and exporting business. You know, when you say import and export, people mm. are like, it's too far that one is i mean it involves a lot it, there's a lot of complication governments policy so a lot of people are still not in that space like somebody brought a business mm -hmm. you know idea to me recently okay. and it's something is a very big thing okay? okay but in that bigness let me use that word you know in that largeness of the idea 
if you break into it, it's not for you to bring in your money to invest. Sometimes it's partners exactly. looking for people exactly. you know, that who are going to invest in it exactly. and then having a share of exactly. that investment. Exactly. One of the things I posted on my um, Facebook page and also on my YouTube channel, financial point, Nigerians don't want to bring in partners. When you look at mm. top organizations abroad that have scaled, it. they are co-founders. See so many, even when you see quality companies in Nigeria, tech companies, they are co-founders. Even tech companies abroad, they are co-founders. But it is somehow had it. I'm the CEO, I'm the CEO, yeah. I'm the CEO. No co-founding because when you is come it, what together, do you think? Is it, is it a lack of trust? It very, very important. Lack of trust. If I when I posted it on my on my page, my mentor was like, Oh yeah, go and look for co-founders. By the time they finish you because the business is great. <laughs> so Sometimes a lack of trust yeah. because you can't really, maybe the business is already growing where someone might want to look for, how can I chop majority of this money? Mm. The whites are not like that. And when they come to synergize, they bring their resources and they grow faster. So most people, it might be because of lack of trust. Ah, if I go and bring this person in now, maybe the person has more money. It will just sweep away. Swallow the business, yeah. So sometimes they, they, they prefer to stay on that and not show it for years before they come out. They, they, they get to the top. Mm. So, but if we have two persons or three that have different expertise and they can bring different things to the table, within the space of one year to two years, there will be, there will be the, the, the business model will fast track. De definitely. Okay, I'm going to hold you on on your final words at, okay. the point, at this point you know, okay. in time. I don't know if we're able to exhaust the seven. Of Maybe you quickly not. we just mention the other two and okay. they'll... We'll probably leave it for next week or something yes, to yes. Um, do further justice to okay, it. So, okay. very good, what are the other two? And then, what are your final words on you know, sustaining the momentum of, a, of any business that you get into yeah. this year? Now, let me quickly talk on the final two, but I won't really go in there. Yeah. It should be on, you know, um, a lot of people can really make money through transportation. They can really make money through agriculture. Tell me about it. Now, um, <laughs> and sometimes when you say transportation, you don't really need to... And they are like, you know, on the space of becoming an influencer, especially in the finance space, mm. you can really make a lot of money. You get people that can afford, especially when there is trust. Yeah. They can, you can create a different business model in the space of um, transportation. It could be the importation of vehicles. It could be um, setting out um, the transport business that, okay, mm. we have different transport vehicles that is delivering and you are going to operate it like a company. Mm. So, except when you do it like um, a personal thing, exactly. there will be issues. Exactly. I want to personally even advise on that. Yes. If you want to operate a transport business, it make sure be... that your eyes have to be on ground. You know, yes. the drivers yes. and all those things. Yes. I mean, these people yes. are yes. wonderful yes. people. <laughs> so, you need to be careful. You know, exactly. your eyes have to be on ground exactly. and you need to understand and hold it as a company. You know, yes. in fact, pay them salaries if you can. Sometimes, you know, yes. I mean, you need to juggle, you know, even so leasing it out things. and also paying them salary. There's a way this transport yes, thing, yes, I'll, I'll, exactly. I know because it's one yes. of the businesses that I do, so I understand. That's why I said, you know, tell yes, me about it. Yes, yes exactly. Yes, but it, exactly. It's, it's well. So, finally, just okay. in 30 seconds, yes. what can I do to sustain the momentum of my business? I've started out a business, you know, any of the businesses that you've mentioned or prior before now, what do I do? What is the force that sustains that business? That will help me sustain it and continue. Now, you know, looking at the current the economic situation we are exactly. in. Exactly. I will tell you that when you're starting a business, it's not always going to be sweet. In fact, you yourself have to be the motivation. <laughs> <laughs> because so many things want to bring you down. Yeah. Look at you. You're going to work. There is no light in the office. And these people are bringing FT bills. There is no light. There is no water. You go to the filling station, no fuel. Mm. At some point, you're like, what is wrong with this country? In fact, at a point, you know this thing. I think last week, last week, I was so angry, so frustrated. Like, yeah. it was, it was, I was, in fact, I was <laughs> mad. Can you use that word? It's not funny. Wow. It's not funny doing business in Nigeria. But exactly. the truth is, there's exactly. money in this country, financial Yes, world. there is There's money. a lot of money to be made in yes, Nigeria. there's a lot of money. There's exactly. a lot of money. But so, you just have to be your motivation. Yeah. You know, because so many things will want to weigh you down. Definitely, definitely. So many, so be and time is about to weigh us down this morning <laughs> <laughs> because time is sort of okay. ever enough, you know, to do justice. But as much as we can, I'm sure we've been able to, you know, yeah. bring some understanding and broaden your horizon a little bit, bring it some illumination to your darkness and make you understand that it's possible for you to get at it and you must continue to, 
you know, sustain the momentum in your life and everything is possible. Just start. That's, exactly. what, that's the key word. Exactly. Begin. Thank you so much, Financial Paul. Thank you so always, much. Always, you know, your words are always inspiring and you yeah. tend to, you know, broaden our perspective of things and give yeah. us another definition of yeah. our prior understanding on yeah, issues. Thank you, thank you so it. much. And for the business opportunities. Yeah. All right? So of we're going to steal them around with that. <laughs> All right, that's all for the show this morning. Thanks for staying tuned. As always, it's been exciting on the show. Yes, tomorrow. I'm going to be here tomorrow too. Yes, yeah, so expect to see my pretty face on your screens tomorrow <laughs> once again. But talking business, all right? Yeah, I'm also a fashion enthusiast. It's one of the things that I love to do. All right? Yes, and of course, in that vein, I want to thank my wonderful fashion designer, Oinye. She's doing an immaculate and wonderful job. As you can see me thoroughly, always put together. Mm. It's coffee here, all right? Yeah, so thank you, Oye. So do join me same time, same station tomorrow. I'm going to be here, and I'm going to be here with Sean Unemployment. It's called Maja, all right? He's going to be talking about youth empowerment. We're going to be looking at entrepreneurship with the youth, and, of course, innovation when it comes to youth. The youth are the future of tomorrow with everything we are seeing because I need Yahoo and all of that. It's time to wipe all that away and start on a positive slate. Do so have a fantastic day. Of course, you're, I mean, um, not your business, all right? Yeah, Money Rave continues. Over the big story.